All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So this is just kind of a review video uh, in installation process, building process of this gazebo here. So this is a 20 by 12 gazebo. We got this on Amazon and we got this to really cover this area right here. We just put in this concrete and you can see here we have like a seating area and then next to it, we're gonna be putting in a hot tub. So we wanted to have something that was gonna like cover that area, kind of have a nice environment for the, uh, for the hot tub. So we got this on Amazon. It comes in like seven big boxes. So it comes in a lot of pieces. And putting it together was a challenge. So we, I think we figured it took us about 17 hours to put it all together over the course of two days. So we worked on it for half a day and then one full day. The ch most challenging part he, uh, really was the top because it has, you can kind of see at the top, there's like a double roof on the top, which the top is vented. So it provides airflow. And then there's also a mesh net up top. So that way insects can't go inside. Specifically mosquito, we have mosquitoes in the area. So it's nice to have that, uh, that, that protection there. But because that top piece has to be installed really with just four support beams, that was the most challenging part. We had to really hold that, hold, hold that, uh, the whole piece up with like a broom and a ladder. You really need like three people to work on this. We had three, uh, my wife and I, and then we had my son help us with this. And that was probably enough, but you also are gonna need like two big ladders. Like we had two eight foot ladders, we had a five foot ladder. And then making sure we had a drill, like a uh, impact driver with an Allen bolt, because all of the screws are like Allen, Allen screws. So you want to make sure you have an Allen screw for those. But it was a, it was a challenging build. I mean, it was probably, uh, well, you know, we've built a lot of like furniture that comes in boxes and things like that over the over the past. And this was probably the most challenging thing we've had to build so far. But it's got a lot of nice features, in it, and it turned out really good, and it really looks nice in this space. Let me show you how it looks uh, on the inside here. It has these curtains. These privacy curtains it has two layers. It's got a privacy curtain, then it has a like a bug mesh net all around. These all these all zip up, so they zip up from the bottom, and you know it is nice that you can kind of keep out the bugs, leave this open, or you can do kind of a complete privacy. And it is a, like a waterproof material. Um, it's almost ten and a half feet tall. This area is about six six foot uh, six foot seven right here to clear. So you got plenty of headroom here, and the total width of it is about 12 feet from the outside outside of the uh, the edge of the gutter here. So the, the posts are probably like, like 11 and uh, probably 11 and a half inches on the outside of the posts. And then it's 20 feet, it's 20 feet long. And then on the inside of it, kind of see in the inside here, the, the inside has a really high roof area. So there's even three little hooks. You can see there's three hooks there that you can like hang a light from. Uh, we kind of draped these light. We just got these up yesterday and we just finished this the other day, but uh, these are solar powered. And so we just have these kind of hanging here. Uh, we don't have electricity out to this gazebo yet at this point. So any, any electricity that we do is going to all just going to be solar powered at this point. Uh, each of these sections here where these middle posts are, this is about, this is about a nine and a half foot, about probably about a nine foot section here. And then the nine foot section here, like I said, our hot tub is going to be here. It's going to have plenty of room uh, for that. The finish, you can kind of see the finish. One thing I couldn't find online is really just really a close up of the finish on this. And hopefully the lighting is good enough that you can kind of see it's like a kind of like a brown and black hammered finish. And it really looks, I think it really looks good. It, it, this is all aluminum, so it's not super heavy. Like a lot of the pieces are, are pretty, uh, they're manageable by themselves. But overall with this being s sitting here, I mean, th this is, it is a pretty heavy unit. Down here on the bottom, there is, a, there is a spot that you can put in like an anchor. There's three, there's three holes on each. We still need to do that. Anchor it down to the concrete so that way it doesn't get blown away or move on us, which would take a pretty strong wind to, to, to move this gazebo. But the finish really looks good. It's aluminum and it feels like it's powder coated. Like it, it didn't scratch easy. When we, were, when we were putting it together, it didn't look like a lot of the, uh, the pieces would scratch very easily. So I think, it's gonna, I think it's gonna look pretty durable. I think it's gonna hold up really well. And the fact that it's not gonna rust out on us, we don't have to do like, it's not wooden, so we don't have to worry about you know, painting or staining it. That's, that, was, that was a real plus to, to this type of uh, material. All right, the roof by far was the most challenging part of the installation. Getting up the frame, like these, uh, you know, these posts, these supports, these beams across here were were pretty pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I mean, they just there's just some uh, these just all screw together, 
fairly easy, very manageable with uh, two or three people. Uh, but where the challenge was was the roof, and probably like I mentioned before, the top piece. Trying to get that top piece, hold, you had to hold the top piece up while you get the four corner supports on. And when we got those on, it was like it wasn't level, and we had to like you know move it up and down. So that was hard, just being that high in the air, holding it up, two people holding it up while one person's screwing in the support beams, and then. We probably had the whole frame up probably in, I'd say, like three or four hours. And then the rest of the time was working on these roof panels. And these roof panels were probably the, the most challenging because these panels, if you can see up here, in certain areas where there's an angle piece, there's these little clips right here that you have to like slide into the channel. And at the very top, the rib, the rib portion of the panel has to slide into a channel as well. And because they're really wavy, it's really hard to do that. So you have to have one person at the top guiding it in one person in the bottom and then just reaching all the way up there from the from the the top and from this side here screwing those screws in so the roof panels i think is the most challenging part but once we kind of got a system down we kind of worked all, all the way around once we kind of got to the far side it took us the, almost the whole time to really get a, a system down to where we could like figure out getting it in efficiently but w one thing i want to point on the direction the direction said to lay all the panels on and then come back and screw them in. Now, if we would have done that, we wouldn't have been able to screw them in because you need to have ga a gap in the next section to be able to reach around and screw those in. So that was one thing that we kind of modified on the directions is we would put up a panel, you know, one section of the roof, like, like this much right here, and then we would screw it in and then move to the next one because otherwise they'll just like, they'll just slide down. And it was hard to, it was hard to really keep those secured if they weren't screwed in. So that was one thing that we modified. Otherwise, the directions were pretty straightforward. Otherwise, there's not, you know, there, luckily there's no writing. Everything's just pictures. So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, trying to translate English and Chinese mix, which a lot of times those directions you have to. So it's just pictures. But that was one thing that I'm glad that we decided ag against the directions was to screw each panel in as we laid it down. And that helped, that helped a lot. Okay, so overall, we're really happy with this. We just got this up uh, two days ago, and we're really happy with it. The, the fit and finish, actually, it fits really well together. I was Some of these things, when you have to get precise holes all lined up, you wonder if it's going to fit together, how, how well the construction is, how well the engineering is. It's actually really well. It's actually done really well. So I was surprised that it is put that it goes together so well. And we didn't have to tweak it a lot as far as getting it level or even that that was that was one nice thing as well so overall we're really happy with it uh the fit the fit and finish was was great on it uh i would have taller you know two two tall ladders uh three if you had three adults helping that's going to be ideal um four people would be even better to to, to kind of get that done but otherwise i hope you guys found that informational uh, entertaining. This was something that we kind of looked for for a while, and we found this one. This is just on Amazon. Take a look. Take a look at the link down below. But it was pretty re pretty reasonable for what you get, and was probably a much cheaper and better value than you know hiring a company and you know doing like a custom one or a wooden one or buying anything local. It seemed to be that Amazon had probably some of the best prices on this, so uh, that's why we went with this, and it turned out great. It seems like it's going to be a good addition to the the patio here. Anyways, guys, take a look at the, 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 the link to this down below in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. My email's down there as well. And uh, hit, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.